So this is an Eldest Crusader Mistral, going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van, you've got your hitch, jockey wheel and power lead to the car. That will be demonstrated in a separate video. Have a generic video for all the vans on that side of things. Front locker, you've got your gas regulator up on the bulkhead just there. With the pipe work coming out the side, it is a changeover valve, so you could potentially have two bottles connected at the same time. To do that, you simply turn the dial here to point the arrow to the opposite bottle, if you wish to do that. Gas valve on top of the bottle, on and off, and then reverse thread fit fitting on the pipe work going to the regulator. On both sides of the van, you'll see a wind down, a leg wind hole on either side. That is just to put the stabilising legs down. And then you've got your Audi heating fluid above that, which is actually putting out some heat already, um, due to the fact we've got the gas and electric or gas heating etc. turned on. Next up is your water pump connection. Simply remove the water pump connection or push into place, as you can see, and lock the cover down to hold it in place. The water pump end would go into your aqua roll, um, and then I'll demonstrate how you fill the water system once we're inside of the van. Next up, you've got your battery locker with your battery in there and your mains power lead coming to the side of the van and at the top here you've got your motor mirror power switch which I'll demonstrate later in the video. The fridge vents, this one here will allow the gas to come out when the fridge has been operated on gas and on this side is when the fridge has been operated on electric and the same at the bottom here. The wheel nuts will be torqued before the caravan is delivered to you but we do advise you check them regularly before towing the caravan. Coming down to the back of the van, you'll actually notice two grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van, and that is where your waste water comes out. Grey waste pipes push into the side of the van here and drop down into your waste master itself. At the back here, you've got your toilet locker. So to release the waste cassette, you pull up the orange handle and pull it towards you. You've got the neck here for emptying the waste out, which turns out, and you take the grey cap off to be able to do that. And you've got your orange pressure relief button at the back on the cassette, so when you're tipping the waste away, the waste doesn't spit and splatter back at you. Before you use this, you'll need to put one litre of water in and a cap full, and the cap being this grey cap here, of the blue fluid. On the back of the caravan, on either side again, you'll see there is a wind down leg. I've just got the one down for purpose of handover, but there is one on either side. Go around to the opposite side of the caravan now. Front of the van, you've got your barbecue gas point, so you push your brass fitting into place and connect your, uh, that's connected to your uh, barbecue, for instance, and turn the red valve to the on position. Locker right underneath the seating area at the front of the van. And then you've also got a storage locker for underneath the bed at the rear of the caravan. Next up, we'll go on to the inside of the caravan. So we're now on the inside of the van. And as you know, we've got power connected on the outside and the water connected. So the first thing we'll do is, is bleed the water system, which is actually already full for the purpose of the video. Um, so I can show you it's all working as it should. But what I'm going to do is, is come underneath the seat on the far right hand side of the van. And you'll see a yellow valve that is parallel with the floor at the moment. So you, and when the valve is in that position, you can actually fill the water system completely on board the van. To fill the system though, you're going to need to turn the power on on the control panel which is just here that's the power isolator switch for the van so this one just here you need to make sure this switch here is on and to fill the water system internally so if you wanted to fill the big onboard tank at the back of the van that's just here underneath the bed and run from that tank and from the onboard hot water tank which is underneath the seat down the front there you're going to need to put this switch on to internal at the top here so you're going to push the switch up to internal and you're going to open up all the taps on board the caravan onto the hot side. As you can see there, it's on hot. You'll see in a moment that starts steaming away. Haven't quite got all the air out of the system for this purpose of this video, but uh, as you can see, or hopefully you can see there, some steam rising up with the heat of the water. So you can see all the heating system is working. As you see it there coming over the top. As you can see, the hot water is getting very hot on board the van, which is good. You'll hear that clicking noise, which is actually just the, it's releasing some pressure from the tank 
as it's filled back up just so it doesn't uh, overflow. So all the taps will be open for the purpose of filling the water system. Once the water system's full and the water is running freely out of each tap, as you can see, you'll turn off all the taps and you don't need to worry about bleeding the cold side of the water heating. So with the water system full and the power on, you can come over to the control panel over by the door, which is this top, pump, top panel just here. On here, it's letting me know the heating pump is running. It's letting me know that we've got mains power coming in and it's letting me know the internal temperature of the caravan at the moment. So if I press menu, the top one here is your internal temperature of the caravan. So your heating, essentially minus or plus to set the temperature. You can go all the way down to five degrees where it's basically off. The switch below here is to turn on your water heating. So you've got water heat on and water heat boost. When it is just on the on position, it's around 40 degrees of water temperature. Below that, you've got the amount of power coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. So for instance, some sites will have one kilowatt, two kilowatts, and three kilowatts. So as you can see, you can select, select whichever one is relevant for the caravan site you're on. And at the bottom here, the gas is turned on at the moment. So we're actually running the heating and hot water on gas as well at the moment. But to ignite it on gas, the heating and hot water, blue is off, green is on gas. In here and in the manual, sorry, in the manual that's in the front drawer of the caravan, you'll be able to have a look at the settings that are on board this heating control panel. And they'll explain to you in a lot more detail the control panel itself and why it does what it does. Once you're done with the caravan and you don't want and you want to turn the heating off, you put everything to off down here or turn off the power supply to it and the gas, and then you can try turn off the control panel by hitting the power button at the bottom. Once you've done that, and you're done on site with the van, and you no longer want to have water in the system, you'll come back. You'll come to the control panel up here. Make sure the switch is turned off, and that will turn off the uh, water pumps. Once you've turned that off as well, so that turns off the pumps completely. Which we'll just explain. If you want to run from the exter external, just from the external tank, which is the aqua roll, you can do that by just flicking this switch down, and that will just fill the tanks straight to the taps through the hot water tank. So internal is the big tank at the back, so you can run the water system from there. External is the act roll from the outside, direct to the hot water taps itself. So like I said, once you've turned all the pumps off, you can come over to the taps to drain the water system down. Open up each tap to allow the water to run back out the pipe work. Then underneath the seat at the front of the caravan, what you should do at that point is go back down the other end and open the drain valve. So at the moment this sits shut, come underneath the seat, open up the valve and it will drain the water system down completely. So that's your heating and hot water explained. So next we're going to go to the cooker just to show you everything's working on the cooker as you'd expect it to. Hopefully you'll be able to see them ignite nicely from that. There's your front ringlet. Back ring. Oh. And the front ring. So there's your, uh, your gas rings lit and working as you'd expect to see. Let's go turn those off. With the electric ring at the back, it's a little bit more hard to show you that working, but I'm going to turn the power onto it and as you can see the red light is coming on indicating that the uh, heated plate there is warming up. Go to the grill next. Let's move on the handle there or the grill pan. It's going to ignite the grill. Which is quite hard to show on this particular van but uh, we'll figure it out. As you can see there, grill working as it should and ignited. Go to the oven next. Which as you can see has ignited straight up there. When you are done with the hob, you would leave the hob lid open until the ring and the uh, gas hobs have completely cooled down. Because if not, you could potentially shut the lid and it could potentially smash the glass on the lid. 
Next up, we have the fridge. So you've got power on and off on this side, so I'll just show you how that works. So power off and power on. At the moment, the fridge is ignited on gas. If it failed to ignite, it'd flash the red warning light on the end here. And you just need to start the process again by pressing and holding the triangle button in and releasing after five seconds. That would then start the igniting process again. No other buttons you need to press. If you are on gas or mains, you can control the temperature of the fridge on the thermometer button just here. And then if you want to go to 240 volt, you can put the fridge onto 240 volt so it chills the fridge uh, via mains power. To turn the fridge off, press and hold the power button. He says, press and hold the power button. Gonna get the guys to have a look at that before we uh, dispatch the caravan to you. Let's see what's going on there. Might just be me. There we go. Press and hold till the blue lights have completely gone out so it uh, doesn't come back on. The microwave behind me is an eco microwave, so at the moment it may look like it's turned off. However, press the eco button and the microwave will wake back up. You've got the start button here and stop button, as you can see. You've got your timers for 10 minutes, one minute, and the seconds just there on the, just here. So that's the microwave. The water tank in the back to drain that down. You'd simply come down into the back of the van. You'd come to the valve down here and open up the valve completely and that will completely drain down your water system on the onboard tank. The bed, as you can see, raises up to an angle, just like so. To lower it down, simply push it back down and the bed will be in the lowered position. Toilet system, very simple to use. Electric flush, press the electric flush when you've got water in the system and that'll flush the toilet. The gray waste flap down here would need to be open when you use the toilet itself to allow the waste into the cassette. And just up here on the panel, you've got a red indicator light to let you know when the waste cassette for the toilet is completely full. The next part of the video you're gonna see is of me demonstrating the motor mover. If you have any questions on this particular caravan, please do give us a call here at the caravan company and we'd be more than happy to help. Like I said, the video will continue after I've just finished this bit here um, into the motor mover, but this will be the last time uh, I actually speak to you as such, apart from during the motor mover demonstration. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I hope this video has been of some help. So to operate the motor mover, first of all, we're going to go around to the far side of the caravan, into the uh, battery locker. And up here you've got a red power key. So when the power's off, the key will actually be out. And when you push the key in and turn it 90 degrees, it'll actually turn the power onto the motor movers itself. Then we need to go and get the control, which is just in the doorway of the van. And we can press the two green buttons on the controller to turn the controller on. And once the light goes solid green on one side, we can actually engage the motor movers against the wheel. So to do that, you've got the red button here in the middle and the green button here. And you'll simply press both at the same time. And you'll hear the motor mover then start engaging against the wheel. You'll never try and operate the motor mover until the lights on the controller have completely stopped flashing. which as you can see, they now have. You'll then release the handbrake on the front of the caravan. Handbrake's off. And you can get the controller. And the controller itself, so that's actually the front of the caravan, the A-frame, and you've got the back here. So to make it go forwards, we'll press the forward arrow. And you'll notice the van starts moving 
towards me. You want to go backwards. And then we can also turn the van with the arrows, as you can see. And then back the opposite way, just need to one drop well up a little bit more. And then you can go back the other way. And turn the van backwards at the same time. You can do the rear arrows. And backwards. If you want to turn on the spot, you can also do that by pressing the two buttons opposite each other for the turns on either side. And then to disengage the mover, you'd turn, you'd pull the handbrake on. As you can see, handbrake's now on. You'd then press the middle button and the red together, which I can't quite do with one hand. And as you see then, the green light starts flashing again. And the mover starts coming away from the wheel. Again, you'd never try and turn the mover off until the mover has completely stopped making any noise. So let's try and demonstrate that to you. So you can hear the mover stop moving now, but in a second it will make another noise. And once it's stopped that second time, you can actually turn the power off in the in the battery locker and leave the key in the bottom and then you can turn the controller off itself and that's the video complete thank you very much for watching